ya. Sorry about last time. I didn't even save it. Um, I started to get into a reading and then, um, yeah, I started to do a reading and then I received a phone call and, uh, yeah. So, um, received a phone call from a family member and, uh, I haven't heard from this family member in forever. So... That was the reason why I took the call. I normally do not, but I have not heard from this person from forever. So either they're going to tell me really good news or really bad news. It was one of those things. Hello, I'm so sorry about last time. I'm so sorry. Here, I'm going to burn some sage. I received a phone call from a family member. And uh, normally I don't take the call, but I haven't heard from them in a very long time. So it's either one of those are gonna tell me really something good or something really bad. So it's one of those things where it's like, oh, I better take it. So it's one of those things. So again, removing any negative vibes. So I'm gonna redo the reading all together. Oh, holy shit. That ripped already? Oh, that makes me sad. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and redo the reading all together. Hi, hi Jojo. So I'm gonna go ahead and redo the reading all together. So this is gonna be a general collective reading for people in the room. And then for anybody that's watching. I love all you guys, you guys are super cool. I decided to come on here and take a jump on here and do some tarot. I feel like some of you are stuck between a rock and a hard place. That's what it feels like. That's the energy I'm getting right now. goodness. Okay. Let's see what's going on. There go. Yeah, there's some choices that you guys are going to have to make, I feel. Like, somebody from your past is going to come back to burn, maybe. I don't know. I'm getting that vibe. see what's going on. Yeah. One more. Okay. Okay. Overall vibe. It is the Knight of Chalices reverse. Somebody's not taking a love offer. Maybe a breakup, a misunderstanding. Denied. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo or a Sag or a Capricorn. Okay. Or Cancer, or Pisces. Completely different vibe. Completely different vibe than what I was, uh, than the first reading I did. I did a first reading and then I received a phone call. And then by the time I came back, like I could not get into the vibe of that reading. It was just gone. So I figured I would just do a new one. Okay. Okay then. Okay. So the bottom of the deck. We do have the Knight of Pentacles, so there is some sort of offer that's moving forward, 
whether this is a pertaining to a relationship, this could be within yourself, building yourself up, could be going after a career, a new job, putting forward. It's slow, okay? It's gonna be very fucking slow, like snail pace. But it's gonna be like kick ass. Like you don't wanna come out with a shitty product. You're gonna do the shit right. Followed by the Knight of Wands reverse. Okay, so somebody's dealing with some sort of asshole. Or I feel like somebody's trying to say that, yeah, I want a relationship with you, but they're really a dog. That's like an Aries or Sag vibe. Yeah. It's like this person does not have their shit together, but they're gonna offer you love. Okay, so this could be you, this could be somebody else, just not taking this offer. We do have the Sun card, so there is a possible Leo here. So there is obtainment, probably just being solo. Just being solo. You've conquered your own personal universe. You built yourself up. You built your own stars hollow, right? We have the five of pentacles. So you're no longer feeling isolated. You're going out, you're ready for love. Like, see, this is where you're at now. And this is where you like, you're finally getting out of your shell. And you're finally, like, you finally have stability. Like your, like, your bills are paid on time. Your credit's good. Like, shit is getting together, right? Like, some of you may have bought a house. Or fixed your house up. Like, an addition to the family or some shit like that. See, but this is, like, your, this is your intuition it's fucking screaming at you. But it's this imbalance here because of this thing, this person, this situation from the past. So whenever this person comes in and like it fucks up your shit, this is like a cancer. But here's the thing, we have the seven of wands reverse. This person's hella fucking shady. This is like a frenemy. So I don't know if this is like a frenemy but something is gonna happen where some shady shit's gonna happen between, I don't like this Leo, like this Cancer. I mean, there's also that Aries there too, but something between like this Cancer and this like Aries or Sag. I mean, possible Earth sign too, cause there is some Earth signs here. Fucking crazy, okay. So let's dig deeper into this rabbit hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle the decks a few times. Let's go ahead and do that. I hope everybody is doing good out there. I bought this cheap, I bought this uh, tablecloth at Target in like those little like dollar to five dollar bins, those little thingies, and uh, it's already ripped. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Trump. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. Okay, okay. So let <laughs> me go ahead and continue. Shuffle the deck. I'm just being weird. Okay. That's the thing. I think we all have to be kind of like Bob Ross or the dude or Mr. Rogers. We just got to be totally chill. And you got to realize that you can't change people. You can't, you know, you can't change, like, you can't change, like, everything or what's, you can only change yourself. And it starts within you and how you respond to things. Good. I'm glad that this reading is resonating with you. Holy shit. I love it when that happens. Okay. 
Alrighty then, so I'm going to start shuffling. So, why is the Knight of Chalices here? So, why is the Knight of Chalices reverse here? This was a never-ending fucking battle with this person. It's like this person fucking browbeated you to death. This person just made you feel like shit. They just dumped on you. Like this person would fucking beat you. Maybe literally. You wear your heart on your sleeve and they just fucking defeat you. And then on top of it, they're just like, yeah, I'm just going to bounce. Fuck you. <laughs> right? Fuck those guys. People are broken. I hate that shit. It's like, will you fix me? I'm only saying this shit because I've been there. So I'm not hating on anybody. Yeah, so I'm not hating on anybody because I think everybody has been here. I think everybody has been here at one point or one point or another. I'll take these cards. Okay. So the sun card, I feel like this is you. Oh, we've got more cards. I am taking these. Yeah. Somebody, this is either you or this Leo or Sag or whatever. Possible Aquarius, maybe. I don't know. There's a lot of earth signs. So I'm going to fucking call that shit. So it's either going to be a Leo or like this, some sort of earth, either of the earth signs. So we got Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so there's fucking balance, there's stability, fucking moving forward. Somebody's making a fucking offer. You're building your foundation. Like, like that Britney Spears song, you got to work, bitch. You're fucking working, bitch. Like, you're building a home, a business. Like, you have worked from the ground up. Look at this shit. And now you have stability, this grounding. Like, you fucking moved. Look at this shit. You moved. Some of you literally moved to a different place altogether. You have fucking battle scars on you. But look at that shit. You are holding your head up high. Your heart is on your sleeve, but it is, but it isn't because it's like you wear the shield to protect yourself. But at the same time with the moon, you have your intuition. So even though it's like you're shielded, you kind of always have your blinders, like you're, you're, you still are kind of alert. Some of you, this could be an offer from this earth sign, but look at that daddy. This is like my daddy card, right? My daddy card. It's like this person, like they, they're not damaged goods. I don't want to say like they're damaged goods because they're definitely not that. It's just that they have some baggage because of the bullshit that they went through. But the thing is, they don't project that onto other people. But then we have the Four of Wands reverse, okay? So what the fuck, man? So it's like, somebody's making an offer and then you're not taking it or like, I'm divorcing your ass. So here's the thing, it's like, you're building, so, Either somebody made an offer to you and you're like, fuck you, I'm not taking it. Or they're like, fuck you, I'm not taking it. Or you're like, fuck you, asshole, I found my own happiness. I'm moving the fuck on, building my own shit. Look at me. Here I am. Being like, like raising an empire like the Kardashians, except not fucking evil and not shallow or anything. Something with substance and meaning. There, I'm sure there was something like that was not going to be like that, but whatever. Um, but then it's like, you are moving forward. You're holding your head up high. 
And it's like, you're divorcing them, you're leaving them, you're moving on. Okay, you're ending this. So, why is the Five of Pentacles reverse? Okay, there's a huge story we have here. Okay. Um... Okay, you were stagnant. Okay. Oh my God. You were stagnant. Worrying yourself to death. Losing anxiety. Talking your friend's ear off. Talking your family member's ear off. About this person. About the situation. Hoping that you could change them. Hoping the situation would change. But it never fucking would. People were starting to get tired of your shit. You were starting to become crazy, right? You were starting to become crazy because you could not get out of this shit. You were locked into this prison. Like this is a full on Gemini card. Look at this, full on Gemini card because of like worry, anxiety, because of that fucking balance. Like this is fucking Gemini here. Worry and anxiety. And it's like, you are becoming crazy over this. And it was like, and then this required rest. See, I'm telling you, like, I feel like some of you, like, I feel like some of you, like, almost had, like, in some way, like, like, possibly, like, a nervous breakdown or something like that. Like, this person fucking drove you crazy. That you were just like, I need to get the fuck away from you. I need to get the away from this. Because this is like a three-party situation. This heartache. It was like you knew this was like the inevitable. It was like the only person. See, look at this. This is all fucking swords, like, man. This is all fucking air signs. This is all Gemini, man. It's like, look at this shit. This is Gemini, Aquarius. Like, look at this shit. All this was all a mental prison in your fucking head. I mean, not this, of course. Like, that person's an asshole. But you know what I'm talking about. Like, this, this is all you. Anxiety, this is all you. Why is the queen of chalices here? Why is the queen of chalices here? Okay. So we have the... Queen of Cups reverse. So you're, this is like your intuition is going crazy. It's like you're really listening to yourself. Your intuition is fucking screaming at you. It was like, here you are, and stagnant, worrying, stressing, all this anxiety, like having a fucking breakdown, going crazy over this heart, and like all the despair, and your intuition's like, hey. Hello? Hello? Wake the fuck up. And because of it, like you react poorly and you lashed out on others. Like you were becoming crazy. You realize how crazy you were becoming? But here's the thing. You knew what it was and it's the seven of pentacles. You need to build yourself from the ground up. Why is the seven of wands reverse? Why is the seven of wands reverse? This fucking backstabber, this bitch, this cunt, whoever they are, this asshole, this douche bag, douche nozzle. Ten of cops reverse. Okay, so this was clearly somebody broke this unity, this bond, this family life, this home life. Somebody broke this relationship. 
this grounding, this stability. We got the star card, so it's an Aquarius possible vibe. So some of you are hopeful, like you are trying so hard to build this relationship. So it could have been like an Aquarius that fucked you over, like an air sign. And then we have the 10 of Pentacles. So it's like somebody came in, totally fucked up the home life. Like probably stole money, but they fucked with you emotionally. They played with you. They led you on. And then they go and they fuck you over. Fucking bullshit. I'm like pulling my inner J muse. <laughs> like a fucking cocksucker Dante Hicks. Like I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. So the three of wands. So you're moving with your head up high in this third party situation. The situation you've got to have a hell of a lot better. But with the five of wands reverse. See, this was just a very toxic. I feel like it's like a very physical relationship. Just like a like a physically and mentally and emotionally abusive relationship. This person is a total cunt. Like, I don't care if they're a man. You can call a man a cunt. Because if he's acting like one, then he is one. Like, you can call women assholes. You can do that. Because if they're being an asshole, then you can call them out on it. Just saying. Okay. That was fun. I'm going to go ahead and use my sexual deck. I'm going to go ahead and do... Oh, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, jo Johanna. Love it. Love it. Thank you. I'm glad it resonated with you. Okay. Just go ahead and do a general love reading. First I'll do one for singles and then I'll do one for couples, okay? So this is just a general collective reading. And singles, I mean like me and Mamo single. <laughs> no. <laughs> or or you dating casually, whatever, that's fine too. Okay. So overall theme is going to be is the Queen of Fire. Awesome. So an Aries that we're dealing with. Look at that shit. Awesome. So you're pulling within your power, controlling yourself, controlling your destiny. If you want it, you take it. You're compelling, you're intoxicating, or this person is intoxicating and compelling. But let's dig deeper. Those were way too many cards. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Pisces, Sag, or Aries. Mainly the vibe here. Okay. Strong Aries, though. Just pointing it out. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Fire. Okay, yas, confirming with the queen of fire, yas, awesome. Followed by the king of water, yes, a real man making a motherfucking offer is gonna be good, good sex. This is good fucking sex. Look at that shit. Oh, this person's charming, but they're like wild. They're like, like they're like nature it's like primal like africa it's like that this is just hot and sexy and this is sad that my cards have a better sex life than i do okay <laughs> oh, enough about me. okay so here we go so awesome so there's going to be an offer that's coming in for you guys So even though you've got somebody that's on your level, for whatever reason, this Pisces possibly, they're like not taking the offer. You or this other person's not moving forward. Somebody's scared to, maybe they're like, oh, I, I was not expecting feels or something. We do have the two of fire, so you are trying to work things out. There is that passion. It's like you guys are on the same wavelength. It's like you guys are like two moths to a flame. You're just drawn together. But then we have like the ace of fire reverse. So it's like somebody's not, somebody's like their heart is not into it. Eventually somebody's going to pull out, not in a good way. <laughs> um, Yeah, because we have the Ten of Waters reverse. Hi, Tia. So, yeah, so somebody's going to be eventually take away an offer. So I feel like it's going to be, like, hot and heavy, and it's going to be, like, and it is, like, a soulmate type. Like, it's, like, oh, there's definitely a connection. But just because they're, like, your soulmate doesn't mean that you guys are meant to be together. I just feel like it's supposed to be, like, it's just, like, a fling it's supposed to be like a temporary thing. Um, I feel like one person is going to have feels and the other person is not. So either this, it's either an Aries or a Pisces or a Sag. I'm calm, like what is drawn to here. Where they're just like, no, I'm not interested. I'm not in love with you. And they're just like, they're taking it. They're just one or the other. And then we have the two of air. So it's like somebody's making a decision. Somebody's in like indecisive. It's like some of you are wondering like whether if you want to be single or whether if you want to kind of go after like this trophy husband or something. It's like maybe you're choosing between two people where it's like you're choosing between somebody where somebody where this passion is there but they're just like emotionally unavailable but the sex is good, you know? Or they're just like emotionally, like they're just like really, they're just like, they're not into it. The heart's not into it. It's something. But you're going to have to make a decision. Yeah, we have the tower card. So it's like, some shit's going to go down. Yeah. Fucking A. Shit is going to go down. Fucking Gemini. It's not necessarily a Gemini, but it's air sign. There is an air sign in here. So it's possibly an air sign is going to meddle in some way. But shit is going to down because, first of all, we have the Knight of Air. Somebody's going to come in, confront them about it, confront this relationship, like, confront, like, where it's going, what it is. Do you have feelings for me? What's going on? You may be spying on them, like, lurking on their, like, on their, like, Instagram or whatever, like you're reading through their phone, you're gonna find out some shit. It's gonna be crumbling down. It is fucking war. Look at that shit. 
Look at that shit. Bridges are fucking burned. Look at that. She fucking stabbed that guy and he's asking for help. And he's like, she's like, fuck you. I want you dead. You're dead to me. You're fucking dead to me. I hate you. Look at that shit. Yeah, look at that shit. It's like you're going to find out like on social media like they dumped you. Or you're going to find out that they're with somebody else. You know, like, somebody's going to tag him, like, in some sort of photo or something. But, yeah. Okay, so let me go ahead and do couples. So, this is going to be for couples, for anybody that's married in a long-term, short-term relationship. Um, anybody that's um, dating exclusively, dating loosely. Anybody with, you know, friends with Benny's, fuck buddies. Uh, uh, wherever, whatever you want to call it, whatever it is. If you feel like this is more your reading, if you don't feel like you are Mamo and Lori single, then you can go ahead and like relate to this reading. So this is a general collective reading, okay. shuffle it a few times so couples okay there we go overall theme we have the nine of cops reverse what the fuck is going on with you man what the fuck possible pisces here fucking course so something you're not being obtained you feel restricted you feel bound it's like an emotional prison you feel judgment you feel judged What is going on? What is going on? Okay. Oh, Gemini. cards if it's meant to come out it believe me it will come out so let's see Okay. Alrighty then. Nice. Okay. I have a feeling this. Okay. All right. Um, we have the Ace of Fire and Eight of Fire reversed on the bottom of the deck. So it's like, I feel like there's a lot of arguments and a lot of restrictions, but then at the same time, it's like once you make up, the sex is really good. And so I feel like you guys argue a lot and always say like, you're gonna divorce or like, I'm gonna kill you. Like, I'm gonna kill you, bitch. Or, I, or like, 
or I wish you were dead. It'd be like always those type of arguments, but then like the sex is super good. And then we have the Knight of Air Reverse. So I feel like this emotional, it's like, I feel like this person like puts you down. Like they emotionally abuse you and they use their words and they use it against you. They make you feel like shit. And so like you're with the aid of air, like you're always stagnant. You're always running. But it's like you don't have any grounding or stability. We do have the emperor here. So it's like this person is like, I feel like this person has some sort of like financial control over you. They have some sort of control over you. This is why you're oh, like you're in this prison. And I feel like they have some sort of control over you. Like they use money or they use something as a way of form of control where it's like, okay, you can't leave me because I'm the one that pays all the bills and you're unable to, to like support yourself on your own or something like that along that line. But I feel like you guys are like running from a problem because like this person is just always like, it's like emotionally abusive. Yeah, because it's like we have the priest, and it's like, I feel like this, it's like you're trying to be free, but there's always this restrictions. Like this person is always restricting you. Maybe they're like suppressed. Maybe they're like uh, raised religious, you know, and so they have like this fucked up, like, Like they have like certain hangups, I feel like, and they take it out on you, make you feel like you were, like there was something wrong with you. Or, like they have some sort of weird hangup. That's what it feels like. I feel like they have some sort of weird hangup. Some sort of weird sexual hang up. I feel like it's um, some sort of like, it's some sort of domination. It's like maybe like a sub-dom relationship that they're into. Five of fire. I feel like they had some sort of weird thing or like not weird thing. They had some sort of domination thing Possibly, like, I don't know, maybe for some of you group sex, but I just feel like for, like, a whole, they had issues pertaining to sex. Yeah, we have the four of earth. It's like you or this person is, like, begging. I feel like this was, like, it's, like... They were financially controlling you. Like they were like they were very controlling. Like they were financially controlling. Look at that. Like you probably had an issue of putting getting it up. And so therefore he judged you and blamed you and said you were the problem to deflect, which there's nothing wrong with anybody having issues because everybody has, everybody goes through like these weird patches or whatever. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just how you roll with it. You know, believe me, I'm not here to judge anybody's kinks or anything. As long as you're not into, like, animal or kids, I don't fucking care. It's like, after you age, go ahead, sex, you know, sexuality is fluid. Have some fun. Have fun, kids. Well, not kids, but you know what I mean. <laughs> but anyways, okay, so, yeah. All right, then. So, let me digest this first. So, the Empress, yeah. So, you, it's like you feel closed off with sex. Like, this person would not even eat you out. Like, they had some issues with, like, pussy. They were like, oh, 
So you know they had some sort of defect. It was like your intuition was going off because it's like, all right, something's going off. It was like the six of water is like you're no longer curious or they're no longer interested. It's like somebody started to withdraw. It was like the more that you try to have sex, so like the more you try to force it, the more it felt fake. And then we do have the full card. So this is like a brand new beginning, a fresh new start, building something from scratch. But you gotta realize that like this person's like a manipulator. So I feel like for like they had issues with sex and so they manipulated so they manipulated you into thinking like you were the problem. Hey Coven. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Alrighty then, so let me go ahead and dig in. I want to try to see if I want to, I want to go ahead and use, I'll use my Halloween deck. It's about that time that I should start bringing it out. And I'm wearing orange, so what the fuck, I might as well. Okay, it's been a while. So yeah, I bought the last deck they had. Somebody on Etsy makes, uh, they made a Star Wars deck and I wanted it and it was like, came to a total like including shipping and it's like 50 bucks. So it's like, eh. but um, it should be here pretty quickly. Um, what really intrigued me, the, the drawings are simple, which I, you know, the drawings are simple, but what I really loved about it, what sold on me was get this, the moon card? It was the fucking Death Star. That ain't no moon. That's a space station. Like fucking illusions? Like this person really thought about shit. So I was like, fucking sold. Dropping that shit. I finally caved in. So when I get that, right? So when I get that, I'm gonna go ahead and I will do a premiere of it, of course. I'll do a live thing on it, so. That will be a lot of motherfucking fun. So, yeah. Um, I did find one person that made a deck where it's just a major iconic cards, but each card is like a pop culture thing. So, like, one card is, like, um, Doctor Who. Like, one card is Sailor Moon. One card is... Um, Star Wars, like, the chariot is the fucking Starship Enterprise right? Like that shit's fucking cool. So I want that deck. So I'm like, okay. So that'll probably be like the next, I, that'll be a next deck that I want to get. But you know, Etsy is really cool because they have a lot of really unique decks out there. Um, people that make them and uh, other tarot readers, like er, other tarot readers like myself, you know, that create their own decks and they have it out there. And there's a lot of really cool, unique ones. Um, some crazy insane ones. So it's nice to kind of check it out. Some of them are super pricey where I'm like, oh, like, whose dick do you got to suck in order for you to get that kind of cards? Like, cause I'm not dropping over a hundred dollars on a deck. Are you fucking kidding me? And even when it's like 60 and higher, like even 50, that's the, I still felt like I was wild knuckling that one. Cause I'm like, I can buy like three or four decks, you know, with that kind of money even more, you know? So it's just one of those things where some people are like putting them for 70 or 80 bucks. I'm like, oh, but I'm talking about shipping. That's gonna be like $100. And, uh, you know, do I really wanna drop that kind of money and it's gonna be like garbage? You know, even though like I've read the, and I read the reviews on this, so people did enjoy this deck. So that's why I like, that's why I went ahead and got this deck. Cause I was like, all right, I'm trying to find like a Star Wars, like, no, not, not a Star, well, another Star Wars one. Um, I know somebody, they make a Marvel one. I did see a Marvel deck and there is a, uh, 
the uh Oh my god, it's popular on HBO. Um Game of Thrones. I'm sorry, I can't believe I blanked out. But there's a Game of Thrones tarot deck. I was hoping somebody would make like a print Princess Bride, like Oracle deck or something like that. Kind of like an inter like a twin flame one, but it's like the Princess Bride theme. That would be fucking cool. But you would have to get like the royalty rights and all that kind of shit. You know, that movie is like 20, 30 years. So. But yeah, there's some really cool ones, but they have some really cool like horror ones and Halloween ones and sexual ones. I mean, everything, anything that you can think of, they have decks of it. Oracle and tarot and everything. Yeah, each deck has a completely, completely different message. And I, I will sit there and I'll read the book because I like to kind of get an idea of like the vibe of it. And sometimes I will take their interpretations, but sometimes I'll just go on based on the card. Just whatever the pictures come to me. Okay. And one more collective reading for everybody in the room and everybody that will be watching this on 24 hours and all that fun stuff. There we go. That's how I like it. Okay, overall theme, Queen of Pumpkins. Alrighty then. So, this is Pentacles. So, I may look in the book once or twice, not because I don't know the definitions, it's just because I forget, like, what the fucking symbols mean for some of this shit. So, I'm just giving, just giving you a heads up, okay? Um, so, yeah, so it's the Queen of Pumpkins, okay? So, you're finding grounding, the stability, you know, you found the great pumpkin, and you're fine and content, and you're building a foundation based upon that with your black cat which good luck prosperity this is you building a future building stability I think ghosts are like cups, but I'll have to double check. Because I don't remember like what did these terms mean. <gasps> or at least, I mean, what the definitions of like the, the iconic symbols. Oh, those are way too many. Don't be selfish. I know this deck is going to be coming around a lot around Halloween time. That's as expected. I do eventually want to get like another like. Because I was hoping that the gothic deck. I was hoping that this deck would be super cool. But it was just like meh. I was kind of disappointed in it. And I want something like. Something cool. But I do have that Lucifer deck. Which I will be playing eventually later sometime in the future because they're just cards so we have the bottom of the deck we have the wheel of fortune reverse so there's going to be some sort of stagnation so you're getting closer but it's just going to be a temporary haul okay followed by the eight of pumpkins reverse which is basically pentacles so with that it's just like you're there's you're basically at a standstill. You're forced at a standstill at this point in time. So hold on, because I forget. I think ghosts are like water. Yeah, it's cups. Okay, that's all I want to know that that was meaning like okay. So um so we got page of ghosts reverse so I feel like for some of you you're just 
you are single, you're not taking any love offers or a love offer was not taken to you, but you don't care about that. You're not interested. You're not looking for love. You're standing your ground. You're doing your own thing. You're building a nice little fortress for yourself. And you've got people and loved ones around you that matters. Okay, so we have the hangman. So some of you have made a decision on something. You're no longer stagnant. We have the seven of ghosts reverse. So you're, there's option was taken away. Okay. Yeah, you made the decision. And you're like, no, I'm not interested. Not interested. It was like the option was taken away from you. We do have the sun card reverse. Some of you may be dealing with the Leo, but there is some water on the board here. And there's also an our sign as well. There are way too many cards. Okay. The high priestess just kind of popped up. I'm putting that back in. So use your intuition. So I'm just letting you know. Intuition. Third eye. Something's going on. I do enjoy this deck. I forgot how much. I should be using this deck a little bit more. But of course, everybody and their mother will be using this. So... to confirm. I'm pretty sure that's fire. Fire, fire, fire. Whoa. 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 You guys like my Joey Lawrence impression? <laughs> yeah, I went there. I went there with the Joey Lawrence impression. And for all you little millennials out there, you don't know who he is. Yeah, I'm pretty disappointed. I dealt with that somebody at work, a millennial who did not know what the show Happy Days was, let alone who Fonzie was. That was very eye-opening. <laughs> you know, like, wow, I'm old. Having to explain to somebody what the Spice Girls were, and they're like, oh yeah, I heard him on the oldie station. Fucking A. <gasps> okay. okay. I just want to, I'm pretty sure this is a fire sign, but I just want to confirm that's an orange or not. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. We have the king of imps. Okay. So I feel like whoever you're encountering, like the passion's there. Like there is good sex. I feel like it's possibly maybe like a one night stand. Somebody's like a charmer. We have the four wands. It's like you're bored. Like you or this person's bored. Like, you have options. You have choices. Like, look at this. You had options, but you shut them out. So, you had a love offer, you shut them down. So, here you are. It's like you have all these options. And then, like, you're bored. You're like, no, I don't want you. Because you're fixated on this one person. Or it's like you're trying to get this person's attention, but they're like not interested because they have options. And then we have the three of pumpkins reverse. So I feel like reverse. It's like it's not going anywhere. It's like it's like you 
or somebody's trying to build something with you and it's like you're not interested, like you're shutting them down. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do some oracle readings um, because I know my phone will die in just a little bit. So I should probably charge this bitch. So, and then I should go back and watch my TV because I'm gonna watch uh, uh, American Horror Stories. So that shit finally came on Hulu for the new series. So fuck you, I'm gonna be watching it. So, cause I gotta treat myself. You know? Let's bring out the good old reliable Rebel Deck. I love the shout out that the Rebel Deck gave to me. That was so fucking amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Awesome. Awesome. I'm happy that the readings resonated with you guys. That's super cool. I love it when that happens. So I'm just mixing this shit up a little bit. Yeah, I was really happy that the Rebel Deck, I'm sorry, I got distracted. I really was happy about the Rebel Deck. Really happy. That was really cool of them to give me that shout out. That'd be really cool. Just really nice. I love it. So what does the universe want me to tell you? Things that you need to be put in your place in. So what the fuck's wrong with you? That's gonna be like my new channel. <laughs> like my new corner is gonna be like, Lori with the uh, chit chat with Lori Gemini Tarot. What the fuck's wrong with you? That's what this, <laughs> that's what this segment's called. What the fuck's wrong with you? Featuring the Rebel Deck. And one more. Mecca like a high, make a hiney ho. Mecca like a high, make a shiny ho. Message one. Have you eaten? You're acting like a big ass baby. You need some food in your belly. Eat a fucking taco. Yeah, no shit. Two, time to let go, move the fuck on. Three, whatever you are, think about it, don't do it. Now is not the fucking time. And finally, drop the fucking ego. Vulnerability is hot as fuck. Deep Thoughts by Jack Handy. And then one more oracle. I'm gonna do the good old standard mermaid deck. So let's see what is going on with my mermaid deck. Mermaid deck. Oh, I realize you guys can't see my shit. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I see my shit. It don't matter. I have shit laid in front of me. That's all that matters. <laughs> so let me go ahead.